another Genshin Impact video. On the previous video, um, Jean got really sick. And of course, as you know, the husband to be, I have to attend to my wife. <laughs> yeah, but uh, yeah, we did pull Jean yesterday as well. As you can see, Jean's right here. She feels all better now from this new video coming out right now. So, you guys are cool with that? Please leave a like, comment, and subscribe for more future videos. And yeah, let's get right into the video. You just defeat us. Oh, sh hey, look over there. What am I looking at? All by herself, right? Because she's acting as if she's talking and laughing with somebody else. Uh, I must creeped out. I had an imaginary friend too when I was a kid. What? Whoa, who's you that? Mean, you used to act like that too? Oh, well, yeah, of course. Why wouldn't I? Also, who the hell are you? Oh, Mama Sita. Uh, so is this an invisible friend who hangs out with you sometimes? Or do they just exist in your imagination? Imaginary means in your imagination. Imaginary. Imagination. Oh, you must mean imaginary. Imagined friend, right? Why huh? didn't you just say so? Um, that makes no sense so, at all. this imaginary friend of yours. When does Paimon get to meet them? <laughs> They're invisible. Seriously? So, imaginary friends just disappear when you grow up? Yeah. Well, oh. That's sad. Paimon was looking forward to meeting yours. Hey, don't suppose your brother has an imaginary friend too? Sure they do. Brother? Oh, oh, never mind. Sister? That's so weird. I think it's because the game wanted you to become a female character. But oh well, it is what it is. No way! You guys are so lucky! Because they have this game in Liyue. Have you heard of it? It's a four-player game, but it seems you guys could play it with just the two of you. Oh, yeah? Oh, Traveler. Fancy meeting you here. Oh, hi, Vinci. Oh, Tone Deaf Bard. What are you doing here? Hey. <laughs> here because Lisa has been making some exciting new contraptions. <gasps> Lisa? Why do <laughs> Why does the thought of Lisa's contraptions make Paimon so nervous? Come now, that's no way to speak about the elegant Miss Lisa. For this particular contraption, Lisa had to import some dangerous materials from Sumeru. Yes, yes. D dangerous That's right. Looks like a monocle, but actually it's called an Ernama detector. What is that? Sadly, Lisa isn't able to use it herself, so I'm borrowing it for a while. And also, I'm testing it out for her, to see if it actually works. Mm -hmm. Huh? Why can't Lisa use it? I actually don't know. Hmm, perhaps it's because she Yo, lacks can you stop a walking? childlike oh. sense of wonder. Or maybe there's some other reason for it. If you want to know for sure, just ask her yourself sometime. So you can see them? This person really likes walking Go in on. circles. What, the hell? what does his imaginary friend look like? Um, <laughs> that would be telling. Wait, so gods actually have imaginary friends too? Hmm. Anyway, it's all yours now, traveler. Take a look. See if you can see Nora's imaginary friend. Who's Nora? Whoa. Do you see him? Do you see him? What the hell? Huh, so it does work for you too. Paimon wants to see? Wait, but this gizmo isn't in Paimon's size. Alright then, you'll just have to be Paimon's eyes on the ground. Let's go see what everyone's imaginary friends look like. I bet, um, Silix is, uh, oh my god. <laughs> it feels so weird saying my own name, or my own channel's name, as this character's name. That's what I'll be saying for now on, guys, just, uh, for future references. She has an imaginary friend. Who? Paimon? So like I was saying, I bet Silix, aka the MC, probably has an imaginary friend, which is most likely a sister. Wait, what? Most likely his sister. Oh, what the hell? I'm getting confused, man. This game is taking the perspective of the of the uh, girl MC instead of the uh, man MC, the male MC, which is uh oh boy, it's not good. I guess I really wanted to. Uh... Oh, 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 oh. All right, so uh... there it is. Behold, a floaty imaginary friend for floaty-headed Flora, a bloody floaty. What the hell? Wait. Imaginary friends can be plants now. <laughs> Hi, traveler. Hi, bard. Hi, Flora. Can I ask you a question? Sure. How can I help? Who's your hmm. friend? Oh, you mean Mr. Floaty? Most people can't see him. Mr. Floaty is my bestest friend. We grew up together. <sighs> no fair. Paimon hates feeling left out. 
Flora, why exactly are you friends with a bloaty floaty? What's wrong with it? I always wanted to be friends with a plant who could fly. You can fly? Oh, sorry. Friends with you can a fly? flying plant? Why? <laughs> because then when it's windy, you and your friend can fly off into the sky together. You gotta admit that's pretty cool. Isn't that called being blown away? <laughs> That's what some people like to call it. I only found out this plant existed from an explorer who told me stories of his adventures. I think his name was uh, Stanley. Oh, I've heard him say that. I've heard it. Stanley's I have a Stanley in the previous video. And you can tell he's an expert at it from the stories he tells. <laughs> the amazing adventures of Stanley are super famous in Mondstadt. He's in the city at the moment. You should go ask him to tell you some of his stories. Who's that sounds like a fun idea for next time. But uh, right now we have other things to attend to. Oh. Timmy. Uh, I'll probably the guy outside. Kid. Oh, do you know what I can imagine? Hmm, which child shall we interrogate next? Interrogate? Oh, there's dandelion stuff. I'm going get these oh. as well. Imagine his imaginary friends is like, what the? Whoa. Um. No way. Well, uh, that is unexpected. Bruh. Timmy's imaginary friend is a ruin scar? Yeah, bro. Paimon's freaking out right now. That thing is sure to attack us. It's imaginary, bro. Uh, uh, what say you? We postpone our conversation with Timmy for the time being. That line you huh? have to say too much. Paimon has a favorite line? Uh. Seriously? Oh, all right then. How about we explore the area ahead of us later? Children okay. are more open-minded. Is that why they can think of all kinds of imaginary friends? Yeah, you never know, but like... Ah, fitting, isn't it? That the City of Freedom should be home to children with such boundless powers of imagination. Okay. What about adults' imaginations? Let's ask some adults at the tavern. Whoa, I'm I'm so glad it's not adults and not teenagers, cause uh, teenagers, it's uh, hmm, you won't be looking out good. Oh, it's Kaya. And Diluc. The thing about wine is, you have to drink it at the tavern, or you miss out on half the fun. Seems to me you'd find some way of keeping yourself amused, even if you drank alone. <laughs> If I didn't know any better, I would say you're being deliberately uncivil. Just drink responsibly on my premises, okay? <laughs> look at this dude. Look at his face. And look, look at Venti's face. What the hell? Like, he's stealing space. Oh my god. Oh, and if I did have one too many, what then? You'd throw me out along with the trash, is that it? Ooh. Throw you out? You know, the same way you threw out Father's legacy. You sold off his mansion. What? Or maybe Father's legacy? I see no reason to cling to Wait. things that have outlived their purpose. Are they brothers? Is that so? No way. Then I trust Wait. you were most swift indeed to part with a certain vase. Dude, I, I told a couple of my friends that I had a theory that they were brothers. Because of the red and blue hair, if that makes any sense. But like... Sorry. I have no recollection. That's odd. Because Master Diluc definitely has a vase at home. A beautiful one. Unmistakable, in fact. Way baited. No imaginary friends. Seems our suspicions were right. Grown-ups don't appear to have imaginary friends. Like I said, a lack of childlike wonder. Seems adults are the same so anywhere. people just stop oh, dreaming when they grow up? Okay, well, Paimon for one never wants to grow up. To be honest, I always wanted to know what it'd feel like, what I'd be dreaming, like in like hmm. 10 years, this 20 years. This raises an interesting question. At what age exactly do people's imaginary friends disappear? I mean, I don't have an imaginary friend. But Let's like... go and check. Alright, who's this? Ooh, alien. Jean? Whoa, she looks hella smug. What the hell? Jean? What is Jean doing here? Is Master Jean Ellen's imaginary friend? She wants to become yeah, a knight. Yeah, she's so conscientious. It's terrifying. 
conscientious. Oh my god, that's. Hmm? I have never oh, even hello. Said that. What are you guys doing? Are you always training here? You bet. Today, I heard Stanley talking about his adventures. It was incredible. It got me really pumped up. Who is Stanley? Oh, I hope I can be as outstanding as him one day. I want to meet him. So that you can fight shoulder to shoulder with Master Gene? <laughs> I, I mean, obviously, I want to become a knight. And if I got to go on an adventure with Jean herself, well, even better. Seems Ellen really looks up to Jean. Yeah, you'll succeed. Oh, thanks. I was thinking, it's not every day I get to hang out with the honorary knight. Would you join me for some sword training? Oh, do I get to beat the crap out of a woman? Oh, no. Uh, Please, don't say that. How can I that. smash all these training dummies at once? Oh. Destroy all the training dummies. Okay. Life goes on. <sighs> Faster. Okay. Let me show you how the first do it. Shame. Didn't manage to smash them all in time. Destroy well, all the training dummies. If at first you don't succeed. Huh. At the same How time. Smash all these training dummies at once. Mm, how you do this? So that's how to do it. Oh, that works. I'm impressed. Uh, I mean, that works, I guess. Oh, thank you. It's clear I still have a long way to go in my training. <laughs> so modest. I, for one, think you're quite the pro at this already. <laughs> well. I'm exhausted from training, so clearly my fitness needs some work. One day, though, I'll smash all the training dummies in Mondstadt. Ellen, okay. Ellen, she's our girl. If she can't do it, um, Billy Churl. Whoa, that's a nice rap, you know. Uh, thanks. Shoot, I got Ellen, so caught Ellen, up here, I forgot there's something I already I forgot the lyrics. Silly Churl. Ugh, but I'm so sore from training. I can hardly move. Honorary knight. Could you deliver a message to Jack for me? Jack? He's a friend of mine. Recently started as an adventurer. We were going to meet up tonight and discuss adventure plans. <sighs> Could you let him know it'll have to be another day? Oh, what? Just a talk? If Come I'm on. If I'm not mistaken, you should find him at the Temple of the Lion. He's adventuring with Stanley today. Stanley's oh a God. truly legendary adventurer, renowned in all of Mondstadt. He once set foot in the Mare Javari. Great! Okay. Thank you so much. Okay. Temple of the Lion. Oh, Venti! We oh, this yes. Place once before, didn't we? During the Storm Terror incident. Oh. Seems oh, yeah, yeah. like it's now a hot spot for adventurers. That can only mean one thing. Looks like we can't go any further. We didn't bag all the loot last time. Not to worry. Allow me. Those who wander in the dust, the wind shall send soaring sky high. Oh my god. I haven't really I haven't really played as Venti. I did I did his trial, but like I never got to use that skill. That's a really cool skill. Here we go. What's the reason? Dude, I love Venti's skills. Oh god. They just got a really long combo. <laughs> I said combo, like you know, bow, but like, I meant to say just combo. I don't know. It happens now and then. Oh god. I do want to try Venti's ult. You can get away. Dude, Venti's ult is so broken. Like, look at that. It is so broken. Dude, Venti's ult should just like. It's just, it's broken. Venti's ult is literally just broken. Like, his ult is crazy broken. Jesus Christ. Bismage. A lot of Haley Churls. Water. Oh, boy. Wait, Stanley's in trouble? I thought you were a legendary knight. Midnight Phantasmagoria. Midnight Phantasmagoria. Wait, hear me. Oh, Bobby. 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 Oh, 
Oh, I know him. I was so sure I was about to die. Are these people need to do a winery? To be fair, that could have gone either way. So, you must be Jack the Adventurer, I assume? Yes. Who are you? Actually, we came looking for you. Ellen has a message for you. She said she won't be able to join you today to plan out your next adventure together. She'll join you some other time. Oh, I see. I feel bad you had to come all this way to find me, and then had to rescue me. But I mean, if we didn't come here, then you guys probably would have died. Huh? I don't see what all the fuss is about. It was nothing that I, Stanley, couldn't have dealt with by myself. I hate people like this. They boast that they could have done it themselves. You are Stanley? You were that legendary adventurer? Renowned in all of Mondstadt? Who once set foot in the Mare Javari? What is the Mare Javari? I don't know what that is. <laughs> the very same. <laughs> I must say, it's an honor to meet one as legendary as yourself. Why are you acting so surprised? Come on, Barbados, you're better well, than this. How would everyone like to proceed? Head back or head further inside? Jack, what do you think? I think we should keep going. <sighs> With Stanley by our side, we'll have no problem. Okay, motion passed by unanimous consent. Let's head further in. Shake him ahead. So, I'm guessing you mostly came here because you want to hear my adventure stories. Am I right? I'll be quiet. No, His voice is already we really were just looking for Jack. <laughs> Shut what? down. Do you know who I am? I am Stanley. Renowned adventurer of Monster. I can't even get that This guy just won't stop waffling, would he? You can't cry so easily if you want to be a great adventurer. Yeah! I know. Because an adventurer's proudest achievement is to die in the course of their final adventure. Why does he keep waffling? Can you guys be quiet? But whatever happens, no adventurer should ever die in a place where the wind doesn't blow. The wind has to bring your spirit back to Mondstadt. Can you That's please right. stop walking? If you die in a place with a wind, and have your spirit carried back to Barnstead, I will. Yes. Yes. Yeah. Although, the most I can aspire to right now is beginner's commissions. Like clearing out the slimes, clogging up the sewers. You shouldn't die in a place with no wind. Why do they keep going on about that? Hmm. Is uh -oh. that why Stanley thinks the Mare Javari is the most terrifying place in the world? Because there's no wind there? Oh boy. Traveler, I believe I've made a small discovery. Oh. Could I ask you to use the Nernama detector once more? Wait, are you saying that Stanley has an imaginary friend? Or... Oh. Oh, okay. What? So... Stanley has an imaginary friend? It seems his imaginary friend is a seasoned warrior, covered in scars from head to foot, and a look of staunch determination on his face. I think it's Stanley You're himself. his imaginary friend is an idealized version of his own self? Yeah. Interesting idea. But is it true? Most Please likely. excuse me. Uh, I'll be leaving now. Oh, please stop him. Bye, Stanley. Oh. Do you two still have time to spare? What yeah. is it? A few days ago, Stanley got drunk and told me a secret. Something he's never told anyone before. The weapons he took on his adventure all those years ago. They were none other than those once wielded by Mondstadt's greatest hero, Vanessa herself. The sword of brilliant Wait. valor and the shield of magnificent honor. Wait, if... If, you do, if you're gonna say a secret that no one's known before, why are you telling us? I don't know whether you believe me, but apparently, both the sword and shield are still right here in Mondstadt, 
over in Dadaupa Gorge. Why are you telling us this? Since you guys are the experts at this, can you come with me to try and retrieve these two legendary weapons? Yeah, why did he just leave it there? I don't know. Outstanding individuals always come with their quirks, right? If I can just get a hold of something impressive enough to show my family what I'm capable of, maybe they'll finally come around to the idea of me being an adventurer. Right now, I'm just a rookie. My abilities are limited. And my parents don't support my goals one bit. I understand how you feel, man. So, what do you say? Help a guy out? I can't bring myself to tell Stanley about it because my reasons are so... Uh, selfish. But, I swear I'll give the weapons back to him as soon as I'm done. But they don't belong to him, though. Aww, poor Jack. Let's help him out. Venti, yeah. you coming too? Hmm, I don't know. Oh, Please one other so thing. I can use you more. I, can use I you have more. a bottle of rare vintage wine that I had oh. someone fetch for me a couple years ago. Help me find these weapons, and it's all yours. Hey. <laughs> Dada Upa Gorge, was it? <laughs> Let's hurry. There's no time to lose. <laughs> he wants that wine so badly. Huh? Huh? What was he doing there? He was just sitting there, just listening. All right, let's head over to Dada Upa Gorge real quick. Also, I'm pretty low for. Uh, hey, Yo, what's up, guys? Oh, it's right there. The soul's literally right there. Stop dancing. Oh, there's more? Oh, what the hell? Okay, so this is the sword of brilliant valor. Hmm. It looks pretty... Doesn't really look that special. <laughs> Lo and behold, the sword of brilliant valor. Why is it just there? How Are come we haven't seen it before? Sure? Looks kind of basic to Paimon, and a little worse for wear too. Yeah. Why would hilly trolls be bowing down before a piece of junk like this? Mm, yeah, that's uh, seems somebody tossed an old sword into a pile of spoils these hilly trolls were already celebrating. Yep. This is in terrible shape, and it's so basic, I... <sighs> I'm at a loss for words. Hmm. Sir Jack, have you ever seen an Animo crystal fly? They're found in the open country around Mondstadt City. If you saw one in broad daylight, you wouldn't bat an eyelid. But in the pitch blackness of night, its brilliant glow is mesmerizing. It truly resembles an exquisite crystal dancing in the night air. Why do we need to know this? Is Valor not the same? When everything is going your way, it seems meaningless. Fades into the background. But when you're in oh. dire straits, valor is the thing that gets you fired up and fighting back. It's the brilliant ray of light that guides you out from the it's, darkness. Uh, Venti's waffling. You're right. You're right. Then this has to be it. This is the sword of brilliant valor. <laughs> mm hmm. So <laughs> we got our sword. Now we just need that shield. Wow, Venti really wants that wine. Let's scout around. It's definitely in Dadaupa Gorge. So, uh, huh? There's somebody there. Stanley, what's he doing here? He's acting so weird. What happened? Why did you stop all of a sudden? Uh huh? Oh, uh, it's nothing. Uh, just one of those Mora spouting weasel thieves pass by, is all. What? Where? I want to see. <laughs> Maybe another time. <laughs> we have a shield to find, remember? Oh, so we just took the sword. Oh, never mind. It's right there. How did I miss it? Wait. That's the shield? Lo and behold, the shield of magnificent honor. Liar, liar, pants on fire. It's a chunk of wood. <laughs> a chunk of scrap. Wood with the handle attached. Who in their right mind would use this as a shield? There's also wine stains on it. Yeah, I'm pretty sure this was just taken from a wine barrel. And yet, my bard's intuition tells me that this is none other than the shield of magnificent honor. Warriors wear their battle scars with pride, and shields are no different. Surely an intact shield is one that has shied away from the battlefield. Is not the broken and splintered shield the one that has Venti fought is the in biggest wars and lived to tell the tale? 
Though the soldier's body be tired and torn, still they fight till the very end, till they have no blood left to bleed. Such magnificent strength of will. It's called the Avening. Is that not the true meaning of honor? I agree. You do have a point. Shiny new shields don't stay new and shiny for long. Yeah, take Captain America's shield, for example. <laughs> That's always shiny. Okay, then. Well, maybe if we ask nicely, he'll just let us take the shield of magnificent honor for free. Oh, yeah, we gotta use a little, like, to talk. Excuse me, Mr. Hilly Churro? Well, okay, you take it from here. Hope you've picked up some hilly trillion by now. Da -da -da -da. If not, there's always body language. Seems Most cheerful enough. Good. Maybe negotiating will work after all. I think I sort of keep talking. Be dumb. Oh, uh -oh. he did not seem to appreciate that. Uh-oh. 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 Oh, no. Do we have to fight him? Oh, I screwed that up big time. Yeah, I screwed up big time. Can we take the shield this time? Because uh, I kind of screwed up that time. What the hell? Hey! What the hell? He dropped the shield of magnificent honor and ran. What the hell just happened? Guys, thank you so much. I can't believe I actually found them. Okay, something tells me those two aren't even the weapons. I think Venti's trying to lure the trick, and then I think that uh, Stanley's trying to like get Mom, them. Mom, Dad, check out the legendary weapons I found. Huh? Where? Hey, wait! The wine you promised. Oh, and I actually helped a lot this time. Hmm. What are you doing here, Stanley? Out for a stroll? Uh. <laughs> Uh, hey, 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 what are you doing here, bud? Fancy that, huh? You, uh, um, uh, out for a stroll, too? Oh, that's right. An after-dinner stroll, to be precise. We were also helping a friend look for something. Paimon's starting to think Stanley might be a fraud. Yeah, 100%. Did Stanley plant the sword and shield here in advance so as to not hurt Jack's feelings? Adventurers must be pretty familiar with Dada Upa Gorge. You fought battles here before, after all. <laughs> you better believe it. I could navigate this whole area with my eyes closed. Wow. Then I admire your perseverance. And your memory, too. It's only to be expected of a great adventurer like me. You guys had better watch out, though. This place is crawling with hillichurums. I, uh, I'll get back to my, um, uh, stroll now. Goodbye. Please, I hope like a hit that attacks him. Guilty conscience, much? Well, he shouldn't have gotten so carried away bragging to Jack, should he? That is true. Although, on further reflection, I must say I'm intrigued. Someone who can't let go of the past and gives up on the present instead. I wonder Thanks. if such a person was forced to take their first step towards the future, which way would they go? What are uh, you talking about? I have no idea. <laughs> I'm just musing to myself. Anyway, I propose we take a trip to Angel's Share tonight. Sure. Wait, this is Stanley. Why was he saying Stanley Stanley? Whoa, look at Venti's sharp eyes. Whoa. That looks sick. I don't know. Tell me, Stan. Tell me what should I do? Huh? Why does he keep repeating his own name? There's another Stanley. <laughs> Surely not. Even I've never heard tell of a second Stan. No, his imaginary f Stanley friend. No. Oh, Stanley. It should have been me. I should have been the one to die in the Melchibari that day. Why won't your spirit come and stop me from using your name? Why, Stanley? Why? Why? <gasps> Blood twist. If only you hadn't had to save a rookie like me. You would have never died in that windless corner of the world. You were a renowned adventurer. Destined to become a legend one day. But now, that'll never happen. Because your life was cut short. And all because of a worthless tag along. Oh, so the Stanley... The Stanley that we're trying to know is dead. So this one's like... He's like the uh, the person that tagged with him. And Stanley sacrificed his life for this guy. And he thinks he's Stanley himself, uh, I guess. Does anyone get 
what's going on here? Yeah, I just explained it. I think our friend really did make it to the Mayor Javari. And I think the tragedy he encountered there was real too. Yep. But the real adventurer, the real Stanley, that was his partner, not him. The real Stanley is the one who died to save our Stanley. <laughs> Wait. That's so confusing. the only reason I shouldn't even be our Stanley is called Stanley in the first place is because he stole the other Stanley's name? How much Stanleys are there? I Stanley, Stanley, that may Stanley. Be the case. Stanley. For so many years I've lived in fear. Fear that Mon's dad will forget all about you. So I tell you adventure stories at every opportunity. Mon's dad must remember. Stanley reached the center of the Madjavari. He's the greatest adventurer there ever was, and he lives on. Stanley will never die, because I am Stanley. I am Stanley. Whoa, plot. Oh, oh. I thought there'd be like some explosion sound effects. Boom. I'm sorry, Stanley. I'm getting too old. <sighs> Are you guys planning on eavesdropping much longer? Whoa! <laughs> Look at fine one. Yikes! We're busted! Yeah. What now? What was the point of that? <sighs> Go away. Save your questions. And just leave me in peace. But leave now. And Paimon, I'm so glad you guys are here. I've been looking for you everywhere. I wanted to thank you again for helping me find the sword and shield. My parents are finally supporting me. Hey. Oh, uh, really? Yeah, really. They even said they're going to pay for someone to fix up the sword of brilliant valor and shield of magnificent honor for me so oh, I can no. take them out on the road. Oh, That's no. wonderful. So, Jack, is this the part where you bid farewell to Mondstadt and set off on your intrepid trip traversing to that? No, not yet. I still don't have what it takes to go too far from home just yet. Besides, I'm sure Stanley still has a few stories left to tell. <laughs> Stanley, I... Oh, you're drunk again. We'll see you tomorrow then. After your hangover wears off, maybe you can tell me some more of your stories? Oh, How come this Stanley's episode went really from some cheerful team. episode to don't some dark, sad episode? Yeah. Yeah. Jack left. Oh, I see. Well, thank you for not telling him about my secret. Huh? All of a sudden you're facing the facts? That isn't like you. Just now, I couldn't bear to look at him. His adventurous spirit is so pure. Just a oh, weary whoops. old feckless frog. But that kid is a brand new shining star, full of potential. I cannot allow his dreams to be crushed. I mean... Mm, you're not yeah. a total fraud. Stanley's adventure stories and experiences. They're all true, aren't they? If he says that they're not true, oh my god. Stories? Experiences? What's the point of them anymore? To be honest, my memories of adventuring and of Stanley. They're hazy these days. That's my biggest secret of all. And my biggest fear. Aww. All these years, I've been living to tell his story. But his personality and the details of his life, I don't remember them clearly anymore. <laughs> but the one thing I can never forget is that he died in a windless land where his spirit can never be recovered. It's not like he's been trying exactly. to kill even in his memory, the real Stanley isn't the living, breathing friend he knew at all. Instead, he's become fixed on the image of him as that battle-scarred warrior. And that image has held him captive his entire life. I'm too old. I never let go. But still, so much has slipped away. I'm completely and utterly worthless. No adventurer should have to go that way. No adventurer ever. Hans Archibald. My true name? How did you know? I am Barbados. The wind. I can hear the wind blowing in the Mare Javari. I always believed you existed. 
Will you hand me your old friend's spirit? <gasps> oh, this is so sick. <gasps> Standing looking fresh. Damn Barbados. I, I can't believe You're acting like a true god. Thank you all. And thank you, Lord Barbados. I'm sorry. It's gonna take me some time to calm back down, but I think that I'm gonna be okay. <laughs> I'm gonna be okay, it just walks away. <laughs> Stanley reconnected with his true self and Jack can finally go his own way. <laughs> this calls for a celebration. And by celebration, I do, of course, mean libation. Oh, God. And by libation, you mean you're not leaving this tavern till you're too drunk to walk, right? Oh, man. <laughs> no, the wine here is too expensive. Jack still owes me some wine, though. He promised me a rare vintage in exchange for helping him out, remember? I bet it's not even rare. I'll head off to fetch the wine. See you shortly. Let's meet at the usual place. Usual? Do I know the usual place? Are you talking about that big huh? tree? Where's that supposed to be? Why has Paima never heard of it? Hey, don't have bored! Oh, hey! <laughs> Oh, head to the usual place. Yeah, I already know where it is. Why the hell would you want to meet up here, you stupid cow? What? You made it. Finally. Be quiet. Just tell us where you meet next time, okay? We looked everywhere. You sure about that? <sighs> so, did you at least manage to find your wine? Yep. Uh, well, <laughs> sort of. Jack made it out to be a rare collector's edition vintage, when actually it's just a half bottle of regular cider. Oh. <sighs> this takes me back. The first time I saw this view, I hadn't even taken on this form yet. Nani? It was about 2600 years ago, before the world had come under the rule of the Seven. The seven. At that time, old Mondstadt was ruled by a tyrant, who sealed off the city's perimeter with a ferocious hurricane. Even the birds couldn't get in or out. And who would that old be? Old Mondstadt? Oh, Pima remembers. Oh. Nowadays, it's known as Storm Terror's Lair, right? You mentioned it before. That's right. The Tyrant of the Winds who once ruled from that tower was Decarabian, God of okay. Storms. Back then, I was but a wisp among the thousand winds. I wasn't a god of anything. I didn't even have a human form. I was just a tiny elemental being who lived in the wind. A gentle breeze bringing subtle changes for the better. Or tiny seeds of hope. A tiny elemental being? Without a human form? Venti, do you mean you used to look different than you do now? Yep. My current form is not so different from the situation with fake Stanley. <laughs> I took the form of a friend. Whoa. So how do you really look then? An old Mondstadt oh, yeah, transpired the story to be told. Where a tyrant ruled. I met a boy not that old. The lyre he played, and for a song he sought. But storm walls blocked blue sky. He was sincerely distraught. I do so wish to see the birds in flight, said he, his strong eyes filling with light. But his voice was lost in the howling wind's churn. For the whirlwind takes and gives not in return. The true sky and songs that cageless soar. Were they not wishes worth fighting for? So the boy turned, extending his hand. Let us cast down the tyrant and his walls from this land. The young boy raised in the flag of revolt, and I threw myself into freedom's tumult. Victorious were we who fought to be free. Was that dealer? Gods fell, winds whipped, nations shook violently. In the smoke, a despot met his doom. And we watched as his great tower fell none too soon. Who is that? Is that Dilu? that began anew, the story passed down. And since then, never has another worn its crown. Oh, damn. I think that deserves so a clap. Then what? What happened to your friend? He died. 
Say, Paimon, do you wish to hear the next part of the story? Oh, please don't waffle. Yes, of course. The suspense is killing Paimon. Uh, how could you fetish some meat or fish? But Venti's telling his story. What makes you suddenly want to have a meat feast? I'm hungry. <laughs> Getting a little peckish or something. Yeah. Huh. Paimon's had it up to here with you. <laughs> uh, you know, you're so smart it almost makes me uncomfortable sometimes. What else smart in real life? But then, maybe it's right that true friends can tell what the other is thinking. A refreshing drink, a gentle breeze. <sighs> Moments like this always take me back. Back to a song that I first heard from him. Let's see he's gonna play it. Oh boy. Fly, fly away. Like a bird in the sky. See the world on my behalf. To the heavens may you fly. Okay. And I guess that's the quest done, right? Yep, that looks like it. Hey, Venti. Quietly gazes at Venti. The green clad figure is on the trash looks he's side. Mm-hmm. Oh, Venti. 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 Oh boy, that was an amazing episode as well. And that's literally it. All I have is a little world quest, and other than that, everything else is all done. Literally. I've done every single quest, you know, Adventure 36. Ah, the only thing that I've left is just to, just to do daily commissions, and um, other than that, you know, nothing else to really do in the game. But uh, I will be making uh, different content starting from the next episode, which should be Minecraft. Uh, I do want to plan on being the end dragon. <laughs> yeah, sorry guys, I'm a bit too childish. It's time to move on. We shouldn't stay here. Of course. Uh, I'm just casually uh, staring at Venti pretty uh, intensely. Yep. <clears throat> but anyways, guys, that's going to be the video for today. If you enjoyed this video, please leave a like, comment, and subscribe for more future Genshin Impact content. As soon as the 1.1 update comes... Or any major quest that I can do, I will record it and uh, post it for you guys. So don't worry, I will be making Genshin Impact content. It's just that there's nothing at the moment that I can make that is worth your time. So I will be making micro videos, as I said. And that will be uh, starting in a couple of days. If you guys enjoyed this video, please leave a like, comment, and subscribe. And yeah, I'll see you guys later. <laughs>